What? How we gonna lose against young boys? Team for the world, us men, but today the man would have moved like young boys. Team should have hammered them like David Moyes. Now we're standing here, man, down at the end of the game, drop three points. Then we come man with a roll up three joints. What? How we gonna lose against young boys? Team for the grown ass men, but today the man wanna move like young boys. Team to the hammer them like David Moyes. Now we're standing here, man, down at the end of the game, drop three points. Then make a man wanna roll up three joints. Woo! Yo, this is the OT99 banter room where opinions are shared and smoke gets served. Look, today we are gonna talk about Manchester United versus young boys. Look, quite frankly, I'm fuming. You can see it all over my face. I ain't happy. But before we get into it, look, I'm joined today with NK, by NK, sorry, and Crep. And today we're going to talk about this game. Like I said, look, Manchester United, in my opinion, I saw the lineup and thought, yeah, it's enough to do the job. However, I did have my reservations. One of my reservations about this squad was the fact that we didn't play our strongest team. And I know people say it's only young boys, but look, last season, it was only that perception or whatever it was you understand and we still got hammered for me it's not even about who we're playing for me it's about having that mentality of i don't care who's in front of me having that mentality of this is a job that needs to be done and regardless of who i'm playing i need to get it done and at the end of the day yes donnie is one in game time when we filled the donnie in the pitch and then we made some other who was the other guys that we, that we brought in again who was the other one Lindos, um, Lindos. Lindelof, Lindelof and then Matic. Oh yeah, I understand Matic because you can't play these back-to-back games. But for me, I'm just like, look, the team that we played last, you know, on the weekend, did a job. They were looking like our strongest team at the minute. They were on full flow. Now, we're in a position now where we're trying to rotate to please everyone. And then as a result, you know, obviously it's unfortunate one Basaka got sent off. But as a result, look, we're leaving with zero points against the easiest team, arguably, in the group. So, guys... Look, let me get onto you, Crep. Like, give me your thoughts, man. Your general thoughts before I even get into anything, man. Give me your general thoughts of what you saw today. Um, there's not much really to say, to be honest. It was just one of those days. To be honest, when I saw the start lineup, I wouldn't really, not much surprised me, to be fair. Um, I was surprised that Varane didn't start. Normally, you want to build up the, 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 the centre back partnership, you know, and. You don't really rotate your centre backs. There's no need to really rotate. We've got a few days um, rest between now and the West Ham game on Sunday. Right. You know, then we obviously we've got the current, we've got the cup game. So if there's an opportunity to rotate, then you could have brought Lindelof in at that point if you wanted to rotate the squad. It would have made sense. This is Champions League. You've got to take it serious. You want some, uh, you bring Varane in for them these sort of games. Experience. I know it's only young boys on paper. They don't, you know, they're not the best team. But you have to take, you can't get complacent. You have to take these games serious. Um, I'm not much surprised. It, that, that's the only real surprise. I thought they, I thought Lindelof probably would have started ahead of Sancho, but I think he made the right decision trying to get give Sancho game time and obviously play him into form. Um, and maybe possibly um, Wamba Saka. I thought Dalo probably would have started. He would have rest Wamba Saka. Um, and that's probably the only, the only, you know, my only real surprises in, in the lineup. But yeah, um, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to be honest. It's one of those. It's just one of those games. Just disappointing, to be honest. It's, it was a disappointing. Uh, there were so many reasons why it was disappointing. Obviously, the red card handicap to, uh, made it was a big handicap, and then he took Sancho straight away, which was not going to help his confidence. We didn't really get to see what Van der Beek could do. Uh, it was just all a mess after the red card, to be honest. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. There's so much to talk about. I'll let, I'll let you know, NK dive into a little, a little bit more deeper because I need to gather my thoughts. So I'm going to be honest with you. NK, give me your overall <laughs> is, is analysis. That, is, that, is that crazy? Like, I can't even, I don't even know what to say. Speechless, and yeah, speechless. I'm going to, I'm going to, I've got a few bullet points. Yeah, so but you yourself. know what, Fema, you, you, you started it by saying, oh, we didn't play our strongest squad. Bro, first of all, that's not an excuse that I want to hear. No matter who put on the pitch today, yeah, we should win this game. That's no, don't get, me, don't, get me, don't get me wrong, right? This what I thought to mention is this squad should be battering young boys, just like right. I thought our squad should have battered Turkish Basiksha. What 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 that name was last yeah. season. My thing is, is this: it's a mentality of whether we're playing PSG, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, 
Barcelona. I want to see Man United taking this tournament seriously, bro. Like, it was, then you were. It was, it was, let's it look was at the serious, Chelsea lineup. It was a serious lineup. Let's look at the Chelsea lineup. lineup, bro. Let's look at the City lineup that's going to come out here. Yeah? Let's going to look at in, when, in their games here. Yeah? Let's look at Liverpool. Then you're going to look at Man United trying to please, please, guys. Then you're going to see why Henderson, soon Henderson's going to be jumping in there. Do you know what I mean? And oh, no, no, no. Like, it ain't going to happen. You know what? To be honest with you, yeah. The only change that I was a bit kind of a surprise by was the uh, the Varane one. I, f- I, f- I told you yesterday that he was going to drop him because the pitch was artificial pitch. And, uh, you know, knowing like injury record and stuff, I, I knew he was going to drop him. But anyway, le- let's let's even forget about the lineup right now. Until we get we got sent off, how many chances did we create until that time? It was just one pass from Bruno that changed the game. And then this thing where well, we play like stock. I don't know if you saw it, but when we were building the play here, yeah, Lindelof kept on doing long balls after long balls after long balls. And I'm thinking, why we keep on doing long balls? It's like they don't even pass it to the midfielders. It's just straight away, Lindelof get a ball, and then he's trying to do like a long ball, trying to find Bruno or Ronaldo. When do we start doing long balls? I know Oli is not good as a coach, but what is what what's up with this long ball? Um, he ain't trusting, he ain't trusting Fred and he ain't trusting Donny in front of the man. That, Bro. I don't know. Forget that. You know, if, if that's the case, then you should have gone get a midfielder, bro. Because again, bro, we did not create no chance until what do you call it? Go, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the sent off. And then once the sent off went off, too, yes, we got sent off. We are a goal down. It is no nail nail that you say, hey, you got a lead. Severe, yeah. They got a man sent off, too, in their 60th minute. It was 1 1. They saw it out. They didn't consider goal. This is my United. We go and go down, and then you go and, and play five at the back, trying to defend the lead. Bro, we, we nail stock. You keep it tight there. We, we we should be able to see this game out without having to consider the lead. Say maybe we cannot score, but we should be able to see. Chelsea went to Liverpool, a man down, uh, what do you call it, first half, and still did not consider goal. To be honest, they even they were even attacking. That time they, they could have even scored. We didn't create no chance before the what do you call it? We got a man sent off. And even when we got man sent off too, it was just that. Like the fact that the goal that we consider cross, I don't there's nothing you can really do about it. And then the second goal too, like uh, what do you call it? God, I don't even know what you're doing. You were man down 90th, 93rd minute. Just get the ball out of the place, bro. Get it out of the place, and the whole substitutions. I don't, I don't know about man. The only, the only good thing you can think about is our next two games at home in the Champions League. We go Villarreal at home, and then we go Atlanta at home. We need to get six point mate, and Fact. we need to start creating chances because this was just horrible, bro. I don't Edwin. care red card or not. We should have, we should have won the game. Edwin, obviously, you know what we're venting right about, and I'll summarize in the game before I get into the nooks and crannies of the details of the match. I just want to get your overall thoughts. Of what you saw today, man. What what's your give me your views, man? Um, can you hear me all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, remember I was speaking to you during the game and when, when we went down, remember I told you at half time that we need to bring on Greenwood. And me and you had a discussion about bringing Lingard or Greenwood. I said bring Greenwood because we need someone that can run. That's it. But Lingard, think, that's the thing. I thought Lingard was the fit. Like Lingard no, was one of the fittest guys. What is no, but Ronaldo should have gone off first then. If you needed a runner, because Ronaldo wasn't going to do nothing. So yeah, Ronaldo should have gone off too. I agree with that. Yeah. But the thing is, I just think it was a poor game. And I think like NK said as well, I missed uh, what was said before. You can't... Look, we know already, yeah, as soon as you put five at the back like that, yeah, you're already in your head wanting to play for a draw. And when you play for a draw, yeah, like that, you play on the back foot. So you invite the team to attack mm-hmm. you, right? And the thing about young boys, they actually had fast players that were just like bombing down the wings and through the middle. So technically, us changing to five at the back gave them the win because we we're just on a, we we're just always going to be on the back foot. Like we never really put a formation mm. that we could hit them on the counter. So mm. do you know what? To be honest, even though we scored that goal early, if I'm honest, we didn't even deserve to win that game. Even after that, we didn't play well. Bro, I got flavors of well. I got flavors of last season. To be fair, I really did get flavors of last season. That one chance in the game, but we couldn't see it. We couldn't see it. It literally it took a world class assist from Bruno Fernandes to find Ronaldo to slot that in. And people may even, you know, flipping sort of meme him and say, you know, it was a freaky one again because the keeper should have saved it. 
This is Manchester United. We got a star-studded squad against young boys and we're still moving mad. And the only thing I can say, and that, this is what I said to you. Remember when I was speaking to you, man, before and I was saying, I don't even believe a DM is going to change. Like people will keep saying, oh, DM, DM, DM. Bro, I do not think a DM is enough. It's not going to be like, you know when people like say when you get married, like like they, they think like girls, certain things, certain times think, oh, you get married, all the troubles go away. Or man, they think you get, you get married, all the troubles go away. No, nah, bruv. You understand? And this is it. Like, <laughs> is this, are you speaking for experience, bro? bro. No, 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 I'm clean, bro. No, 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 I'm clean. No wedding, no wedding bro, podcast, bro. bro. You know what I want? No, real talk, though. Real talk, though. Man United fans are... I say, I sometimes look at us and think, bro, like, yeah, we need a DM, bro. We definitely need bro, a DM. Bro, but it's can, not so good. Can, 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 can I just say so? Go on, go on. Go on, let me know. No, first, first, me, first. I think I think this is a little bit of a knee-jerk reaction here because let's be let's be honest. We, we, the, the red card came early on in the match, bro. I know what you're saying. We didn't really play well. However, we had full control of the game. Let's not get it twisted. We had full control of the game. Sometimes all you need is one bit of magic to 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 get your you know get the goal and then we probably would have built on from there I, I had confidence we probably would have built on from there we probably would have worn them down and we probably would have got more goals I would I would think so especially if they are a goal down they're gonna have to come out and attack us that would have probably gave us more space to to create something so it came on early on and it just completely ruined right. the tactic creepy but, let me ask you a question go on yeah. finish your thing and I'm gonna ask you a question no no but for me is at, from that point on, as as you know, as NK and Edwin just said, yeah, it's how Oli managed the game. It was so the tax was terrible, mm. and this is what my problem with Oli. He doesn't know how to make brave decisions. Everyone knows Ronaldo is in the box player. We're not going to get the balls in the box, so Ronaldo's technically useless in that game. Technically, right. so is Pogba. Realistically, because yep. we need someone with legs and. You know what I'm saying? To, to drive up and down the pitch. And Popper's not, that's, we know that's not Popper's strength. We know Popper's not going to really run around, chase the ball. We needed runners. I would have brought in, I would have took, my first substitution probably would have been probably Ronaldo because we need, I'm put on Martial or, or Greenwood. Probably Martial because he's probably a little bit more fresher. And we would have, we would have, he would have gave us a little bit more, um, a little bit more energy up front. Do you get what I'm saying? We could have hit them on the counter. Uh, probably played with two wingers and just try and stretch them a little bit because we know they're going to try and attack us. So the best thing to do is try and hit them in behind as well with with fast players. And Ronaldo, no matter how good he is, we know he's he's a he's kind of his role now is more of a poacher anyway. So him and Bruno, I don't know. I, I felt the changes really, really ruined the game. And and just on the, the midfield thing, yeah. Sorry, just my last point on the midfield thing, yeah. This is what I keep Harper on and about. We need players that can play. Fred, yeah, although no matter how much he worked, he did work hard in the game, yeah. But when we have the ball, yeah, we just kept giving it away. We kept giving it away. And this is the difference why, why Chelsea, Man City, could, Liverpool can continue to play with a man down because they have players that can keep hold of possession. If we kept hold of possession, the yeah. players wouldn't have been as tired. I knew that goal was coming because everyone was exhausted. Mm. Everyone was exhausted mm. by the time that game came. On the seventh minute, yeah, I'm seeing guys huffing up. Maguire was flat out. He was done. Because mm. he was chasing the game for the literally since since, a, since we lost the cars. Because we couldn't keep the ball for literally two minutes. Mm. Right. We couldn't keep the ball for two minutes. So we need players that can, can that are confident enough to keep the ball. I've always said that this player that everyone, this Man United fan base is dreaming about this dm needs to be someone that is 30 because you've got like you mentioned bruno bruno's gonna be giving away the ball that's his thing he's a high risk player high risk passer it when it comes off it's amazing when it doesn't you're stressed pogba as well he loses the ball quite a bit a lot he does lose the ball we've got so many guys like fred as well when he's on the pitch he's losing the ball he holds on to the ball too much as well he gets the dispossessed and all of this stuff Look, we need to get that position right. But I'm going back to that point. That point of the fact of this DM is not changing it for Man United. The problems bro, are still there, right? I know you and, say that though, but and, today is bro, a perfect example. You cannot look at look at that. It ain't going to make a today. difference to these subs. And, it ain't going to make... You look, let me finish that. my point. Let me finish my point. Go on. Let me finish my point. Go on. If it was Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool... Or any one of them teams that went 10 man down. You remember, I don't want to hear about the players, bro. Because Manchester United, look, Oli's been given. Oli has been given how much over his tenure? 
is the most backed manager. And you said it just as we started, NK, that raw. Manchester United didn't buy this this DM. We chose to go and buy strikers and everything like that. So I don't want to hear about, look, we ain't got these players that can hold ball possession or we ain't got a DM. Bro, Oli's been here long enough and he's got 400 M's to spend, bro. Yeah, but Freeman, what I'm just trying to tell you, like, if you, if you watch the game, anytime Maguire and Lindelof get a ball and Pogba drop deep here, yeah, they give the ball to him. They always give the ball to him. They don't, they don't go long balls. When he drop deep, they give the ball to him. When Fred drop deep, they don't give the ball to him because they don't trust giving the ball to him. Now, if you have someone who is just good, we're not saying we're going to play like take a tackle football, but at least they will get... Even today, Van der Beek today, he had a good game. He was spreading passes when he got the ball. He was winning tackles. It was a shame he went out half time. He was doing well. And I don't you think get someone a who's also good as a passer next to him. So bro, huh? I don't, I don't think, think, I don't think I'm not going to lie. I don't think Donny Duck had a good game at all. Oh, he had a good game. He didn't, he have, he didn't have a game. bad game. He didn't have a bad game, but he didn't, let's not, let's not over. He, he was a five a out of game. 10, bro. He was a five out of 10. Bro, he, he was very average. And, and the thing about Donny, yeah. I'm going to allow him because he needs game time, yeah. But That's he needs to impose, he needs to impose himself more on the game. He looks a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. There's certain points in the game that he doesn't look like he wanted a boy. Bro, I was on a phone. I was on a phone with Edwin when we were talking about this guy. I'm saying, fam. Yes, this guy needs a run against, but but this guy, yeah, he's not he's not commanding enough. He looks scared. It's almost yeah. like he's worried about oh Ronaldo. I don't want to make a mistake. I need to yeah, yeah. Press. I, that slight that tackle well. that he done where he missed the ball completely earlier on in the game. That was pure out of over needing to impress, like over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over. yeah I, agree. I, agree. I agree. I completely agree. agree. I'm just like, no, but you remember what I was saying? Yeah, but you remember I was saying you were comparing it like to Shaw, and you were saying his group. But remember I said. With sure, he was given the time. He was getting minutes, with Van der Beek, I yeah. I, I agree with Krep as well, but um, with Van der Beek, he knows if you don't impress, he's not playing again. You know, what and I mean? that's, that's why I said I'm not going to be overcritical because yeah. I know I know his position, I know his situation he's in, mm -hmm. but but he's not going to get a lot of time. So you have to you yeah. have to impose yourself. You have to do eight out of ten minimum. You have to, otherwise that's you're not going to get more chances. And this is how that's the sad reality few of it. And, few and far between these chances right about now, and that is not helping him. He was, he he has was to the go first above one. and beyond all the, the other first players one. because he has to try and keep get himself in the team. And that right. position is not is is a position that is, is very peak at the moment. Do you get Bro. what I'm saying? Because Pogba takes on one spot, and then the rest are fighting for the other. No, you know true. what? Because even look at Oli. Oli's first person to take off was Van der Beek straight away. You know what I mean? He didn't even think about it. Like we Oli knew he was going to take off. We knew Oli that was going to be the case. Oli must be thinking in his head, where's McFred? Bro, after looking at that midfield, that performance, that way how we performed, he must be thinking about where's McFred? Yeah, but he's, he's, time, yeah. he's doing five at the back because he ain't got McFred. But at the bro, same time, remember, he signed... Field, bro. You don't trust but him. I know, but do you know what, yeah? Do you know why we have to blame Oli, yeah? If you don't trust him, why did you buy him for? That, like, but you know what? The thing, the thing is, it's not why like is Donny he, here? He, he, he he him. Yeah, he but you know what? Today, fair man, today, yeah, today, if he started with Varane and Maguire and we went 10 men, yeah, he still played two at the back. He doesn't go through at the back. Say that again? He's, I said, if he started with uh, Varane and Maguire and we went 10 men out, yeah, he would still play two at the back. Yeah, the I only reason that. he went through at the back is because he didn't trust Lindelof then. Yeah, yeah, I, but that's not They take him off. Bro, what did I say? What did I say? I was pissed. Opened up this video saying we, I was pissed that we it's not about young, young boys. I don't care about who it is. I don't care about who it is. When you've got the mentality like Mourinho was in his heyday, when you've got the mentality like Pep is having, these men are not thinking, oh, oh this guy needs to get look, go with what you think is your strongest team to get the job done. If this is what he thinks is his strongest team to get the job done, fine. But I don't see how many I don't see many games where Mandem are doing substitutions for defenders, centre backs. Midfielders out that like attacking players, yes. Centre backs don't really get touched. You understand? And what he's doing is now bringing on Varane. He's worried. He's making defensive substitutions. Start with your strongest squad. Get this out of the way. So you've got two games left in Champions League. Then you can have a field day. Bring on Alanga. Bring on Donny. Play five at the back. Do two at the back. Have fun. Can I, can I say should, something about Donny? Edward, 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 you asked a question about why, why did he buy Donny, yeah? He, he gave a big hint, you know, in his um, in his press conference when mm. when they asked about Donny. But he said, "Oh, I see. Um, Donny, Donny's really improved. He, I see him. He's a lot stronger. He's a lot fitter now. So that that shows that 
at the, what, how he was last season, he didn't rate him. He didn't rate his yeah. strength, he didn't rate his fitness. I don't know what he was seeing in training. He must have been getting bullied on the ball, huffing yeah. and puffing. Because for him to say that sh- shows that he didn't yeah. he didn't rate him or he didn't trust him enough and he felt he's improved. But mm. he's still still not enough for him to really gain his trust and get a start. So maybe he was expecting something different from Don, Don, Donny van der Beek and he, and he wasn't really seeing it in, in the training pitch. Because you can't, you can't judge it from the matches because you didn't get no matches. Yeah, so you, you can think, only judge it on training. Yo, Crep, do you think also that it could just be down to Solskjaer doesn't even know how to use him properly? And it's actually Solskjaer's the problem. You know what I mean? It, it, boy, it's, it's a mixture of things. Let's be honest, man. I mean, he's playing the two in the pivot. He, needs, he, wants, he wants a runner. He wants a workhorse, which is going to be Fred and McTominay. Then he wants a creator, which is going to be Pogba if he's fit. So... It's a tip, oh, and you know he sees him as either a number eight or a number ten. He's not dislodging Bruno, and he's not dislodging Pogba, and it's just it's pretty much that simple. It's going to be hard for him to get in the team because the role, the vacant role we need is a you know either a deep line playmaker, someone like Carrick, he can control the ball, Perlo, that sort of player, or a Fernandinho sort of player, Kante, who you know runs around, wins the ball back, and. I don't think Van der Beek falls in any of them, those criteria. So no, no, it's true. You know, I just feel like they bought him, but they already had a player they were never ever going to drop. You know, what I mean, he's technically oh, supposed to be playing in Bruno's position. So say, we can say all the why we bought him, why we not. But at the end of the day, the manager needs to be questioned too because he's the one who's gained this place too. Like today, mm. every fan, I'm not a football manager. Crep is not a football manager. Edwin, no one is a football manager, but everybody knows. The minute we went 10 men down, Ronaldo was useless. The only person who didn't know he was useless was who? Oli. And but Oli was scared. Oli was scared. He would never take Ronaldo off. But do you know, do you know, but he, just, you know he, would never, he would just never have done it. He would never do it. Come you on. know what you should have done, though? If you're going to keep Ronaldo on, yeah, you've got to take risks. So take Too fast, yeah. wide men. He should have. Yeah, you've got to get wide men exactly. Wide, he exactly, he, fast if, exactly. He should have taken Bruno off, you know. I know Bruno done the assist. If you're going to keep Ronaldo off, take Bruno off then and then bring on um, Greenwood. Just to. Because if you're going to play Marshall. Ronaldo, if you're going to play Ronaldo, you need someone that's going to be running the ball to him. Why not? If you're going to need someone who's going to drive at defenders and get the ball in the box. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's, it's, it's just that simple. Them, man. You play them wide men, them guys that can blow. Like, Lingard can blow as well, but like. You, if you stick Lingard on the wing, you stick Marshall on the wing, or something like that, you just need someone. We needed the outlet. When I was on the phone to you, Edwin, I was just like, fam, if you're looking at a Wolves or a uh, flipping Newcastle, they will have man them like St. Maximin and them as their outlet, or you have St. You know what I mean? Or flipping, you'll mm. have Adama Troy as their outlet. Getting the ball forward. Who was our outlet? But that's why I said, that's why I told you on the phone, bring Greenwood, because then he's Greenwood, he can, dribble, he, can, he can dribble as well. And that's my only problem with Lingard. Lingard plays well, yeah, but for some reason he's not the best at beating players. So that's why I said out of them two, I would have picked Greenwood just to just run. Even no, if you but in, in, in this situation, the in this situation, in this situation, to be honest with you, you know, I always question Oli and his lineup. Today, starting Sancho, dropping, Green, I, you know what? If Greenwood was playing this game, yeah, with the position that Sancho go inside today, Greenwood shoot and he get a, a, a lot of goals in, in the first few minutes. But he, he played and Sancho too. He need you know what he needs to I'm not, get I'm not on buying it, quick. Bro. Huh? I'm not buying it, bro. Because if you start no, 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 when no, you no, start Greenwood and Sancho, they're both good enough to play in this game. Like it, it should not it shouldn't make a difference. Yes, Let's be realistic. They're both top say, quality the players. Manager need to know what players are good for what games. Like against Newcastle, was would you say Greenwood no, was good thing. to play that game? It's because a thing. at the end of the day, Greenwood is a slap bang on form for me. I'm not talking about he's better. I'm just like, for me, I'm just like, pick your strongest team. At the minute, Greenwood is firing. You understand? Ronaldo, he does what he does. Pick your strongest team. Get the job it's done. It's not a rotating, though. You, you can rotate no, one or two players. Chelsea can rotate. You can rotate. You can rotate. You can't 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 rotate. At least with two show, yeah. What, if you watch a Chelsea game, yeah, he's got the players pressing, playing like with like even if Solskjaer changes, this is something about what he does. Like I don't know what he's on. It's like oh, you know no, what it man. is. Do you know what it is. We keep using our mentality and 
what we think is is logical and trying to put on Oli and make it feel like it's going to come off. Like, Oli, the reason why he's even done so well, and we have negative criticisms over it, is because, like, whether it's his fault or not, he never even had options. He stuck with Fred, he stuck with his players, and he got the job done, third and then second. He don't have the ability to be rotating too much. We've seen every time he rotates too much, it doesn't work out for him. And whether you want to see, whether you want to see guys come off the bench and do well and not, Oli actually just needs to go blind and deaf and just go with the <laughs> team that he needs to do to get the job done. Because we're going to be sitting there like, oh, he needs to play Santos. Santos a quality player. I know he's going to come good. But at the minute, he's not. Like, everyone's thinking, oh, yeah, it's only against young boys. This is the same trap that we do. Why can't but the, we the just problem with Sancho, though, Sancho started last game. He put Pogba, yeah, he, moved Pogba, last game. he moved Pogba onto the left. Yeah, That's the problem. Right. Right. So it's not, you know not what? Sancho. It, it, not it, it, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying, he should have kept the same squad Sancho as Newcastle. Played, Sancho, played, Sancho played in the last game and he's done, he, look, it was perfectly fine. We won but that he, game. Now nah, he played on the left-hand side he, and then he, he got more, look, and that's one thing that he's doing too. He, he He's keep on moving this place around too many times. And which mm. is what, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, he need to know what players are good for what games. Like, Pogba, for example, why are you playing Pogba on the left-hand side if against West Ham, he's going to come back into the middle? Why play him on the left hand side? You are we, are we are trying to build a chemistry between the players here, you know, oh. whether it's center back pairing, whether it's like your left back and right back pairing, or your left back and uh, left winger pairing, the striker pairing. But then you keep on doing this thing where you are moving players around, and that does not benefit the team. So, what I'm just trying to say is, know who is going to be good for what team, you, you know, know what's if mad? Newcastle are going to pack the bus, who is going to be good? Uh, what player skills is going to be benefit for that, bro? Do you know how many chances that flipping young boys had, bro? If yeah, they had a clinical finish, over. bro. If they had a clinical finish, I swear down. If they had, cli- and this is our story of our life, we get lucky with this stuff. If they had a clinical finish, or just like you know, uh, Newcastle or Wolves had, it would have been like finish, Tottenham. Remember bro, when Tottenham came to us, bro? We, we would have been down like four 0 bro. How many chances? Bro, I told we you even Saturday. I told you Saturday. Newcastle <laughs> had 12, 12 attempts on goal, bro. bro. Newcastle had twelve attempts on goal. On Saturday, bro. It, so, this, is, what, this, this is deeper uh, than this is deeper than this is deeper than even just player selections. Because I know we're we're t- we're skimming the surface because it's an easy thing to do. We look at the players' performance, but fam, the real question to me is like, and I, I stand by it even now, yeah, and I still think that we'll lift silverware, but it's not going to be pretty. We're always going to be oh. going back and forth and having these discussions, thinking, is he enough? Is he enough? Is he enough? The only reason why I'm saying it's enough is because we've got CR seven and Varane in our team. And so Kama, this, goes, this, goes, this goes back to what we were saying last week when you was overly confident about, oh, we're going to lift some more. We probably will get something. We are. We are. My point is this, yeah. My point is this. Well, at least there's no doubt, yeah, but we've got the tools, we've got the players to be able to do that, right? And it's, it's easy picking these players because they pick their self, they're, they're top class players, right? Mm. But my problem with Oli is situations like this right where now he's got to think he's got to make tactical changes he's got to make brave decisions i just don't know if he's got the experience and the and the confidence and the arrogance like you see Mark jose you do anything to win you don't give a shit who bring mm. a player on bring a player off 10 minutes to, right. to win the game yeah and these are sort of tough decisions here yeah? tactical changes that we need to that we need uh, that we need from a manager i don't really see Oli on the touch line making any changes you always see him whisper with Carrick and McKenna like, what do we do what do we do yeah, always, 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 you know what you know what it's command, so true you know lift inspire shout I want to see you swear I want to see you throw your hat I, I know he's not that type of guy but you've got, a, you've awesome. got you, you're a manager come on right you know, you, you know, know, what? You're crossing your legs. you know what it is though like, when, at, you hear about, your when you hear <laughs> about the play, when you hear about the players talk about him yeah they're yeah. all like oh yeah great attribute that he talks to the players and they care. He's too much of a guy that wants to be liked. Like what you're saying, yeah, Prep, he just bro, needs to be he needs to be more ruthless. He needs to realize these are not his friends. Like these bro. are not his, like you know what I mean? Bro, bro even, you know what? You know what? Even Alango you know when, when when when... would have been a better sub to bring on in that game because he's got the speed. Oh, you know when, when the red card came, the yeah. When the red card came, when the, when the referee saw, uh, gave the red card, yeah. I was expecting the manager or assistant to just go there, start shouting at the fourth referee. So that they can go look at the monitor or something. But they were just there, looking at the damn monitor, trying to find out whether <laughs> it was red card or no. Just stand up and go. Bro, you don't, just go put the pressure on the referee. You, you got to just go do that or just do bro, something. Bro, let me get onto that. Let me get onto that. Let me get onto that key point. Was it? Was it? 
a red card, Wan Bissaka. Yes. It was. A, it, it, yeah. it, it, it was. It was yes. a red card. It was, it was a red, a red card. card, but I felt like the, the, the referee rushed to give the red card too early. Nah, he could have given a the card. yellow card, watched the VAR, and then decide whether it was a red card or not. But yeah, yeah it was a red at card. At the end of the day, end of the day, it wasn't intentional. It was accidental. You yeah. just lost control. But if that happened to our player, come on, we'll be complaining saying that's a red right. card. Like, you can't be biased. Card. Like it was, it was, it was clumsy, very clumsy. Yeah. One Bissaka, uh, you know, it wasn't his fault, but he needs to. This is what I'm saying. You got to play composure, man. Yeah. Touch, be cool, be calm. Was a mess. Yeah, the first. But those are the times where, like, even when he lost the ball, you, you don't dive in, just leave the ball to go. Like, he wasn't in a dangerous position. He was on their half in their third. He should have just left it. Nah, man. I, I don't I don't blame him for that. Nah, he should have gone he just for missed it. it. He just missed it. He went over the ball. And because he went over the ball, mm. he just landed on a, in a bad position on, the, on a player and left, left a mark. So, I, oh, man, it's one of those days, man. Do you know what it is? I'm, I'm going to be honest. If the red card didn't happen, I'm, I'm confident we would have won that game. But oh, yeah, we would have, we would have, but it wasn't going to be a good performance. But we were still that's yeah. the thing this season, we United always win and the performance are always bad. We always going to win. That and ain't going to change, that ain't going to change, go, bro. Nah, that, that will never change. That will never change. It's always going to be like that, even the way we, we play anytime we play. Have you seen how Pogba and Shaw on the, on the left hand side, but they they can give one, two, and Shaw will go and Shaw will get the ball, but on the right hand side, nothing just exists. That like our build up, you can tell that these players are on the pitch. Literally playing football, how they know it. So any change that you do, our play are always going to change all the time. And you know what? It's always going to be like that. Like it I'm confused. Gonna... I'm time... confused because what I was thinking is, yeah, we're going to have performances like this, but because we've got Ronaldo, he's going to be knocking it in, and we're going to be getting getting through these games. We're going to be having poor performances, but we're going to be nicking it. And maybe that's still the case. But today was kind of a setback because today made me. It took me really. It really just took me back to how it was. No, but that's the thing. Yeah. Because That's really, like, don't want to deal with place. pressure, bro. We don't really but know Fema. how to deal with pressure. We don't. Fema. Oli, Oli is lucky this is because he got so much good players that he doesn't really have to rely on tactics too much because individual players can win him the game. Now, when you go a man down, that's when you need the tactics. Some games are going to be like this. That ain't good enough. That ain't good enough. Oh, Villarreal Villa Villa is going to come to Old Trafford. Villarreal is going to come to Old Trafford in the Champions League game. Fam, you, don't win, come. you don't win Champions League. They're going to be very organised and that's when you're going to need your manager. And that is where we always feel. When we need him to change the game, for either for us to win the game, that's when he struggles. And it, it, that's what's going to be the difference between us winning the title and us now. So when you get overconfident that we're going to win something, it is those moments. When the games are tight, and you want to change the game and win it, that is where we are lagging. Europa League, fam. <laughs> Europa League. Well, Oli, Oli, no, no, I don't... Be there, I, I, I feel with Oli, yeah, he could, because he's he, he, it's his dream job, he's, he feels happy to be there. Um, I, he, he, I feel he has too much faith in the players. Although he should, yeah, but he has too much... I feel he just sets up the team. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to play. You're, this is who started. Go out there. And he doesn't really... He doesn't really demand too much. Like, you see other players, yeah? Like, for example, I'm going to, like, Hudson Odoi, yeah? Like, you look at Hudson Odoi and you think, oh, he's playing all right, yeah? But next minute, he's dropped. And then you see Tuchel said, yeah, no, I didn't like what he's done. I didn't like this. I didn't like that. He needs to improve. They're always demanding high. Even Pep, Pep, who will drop players. And you think, well, like, he, he played okay. I don't really get it. Yeah. Like, he's hasn't been done, he's the whole always team. demanding because he's they're so close to the little deal set. I don't want that from you. I, even if you play well, yeah, but you didn't follow what I wanted in the team and the system, yeah. yeah. You, uh, you're getting dropped. That was Fergie as well. That? that was Fergie as well. No angry. question. Fergie, they, they, they have a system. Yeah. They want That's you to right. play. This is your job. We want you to do that. If you're not up to that standard, they'll drop you yeah. and they'll show you that you're not good enough. You need to improve. Only no only question. That. Do 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 do. Uh, what do you call it? There, does one Basaka come into the game against West Ham? Yeah, Since he let the team yeah. down, would yeah. you bring him back in or yeah, no? Of course. He's, he's not going to get dropped because of that. It was a mistake, but 100%. And that's the problem, he's, right? Let me get to another critical, critical point. You know that. what? Before you go there, I've got a quick point here. Yeah. Oli, yeah, what I didn't like about him as well is going to be an issue. He's not quick thinking because even when that red card happened, Mayuna had a lot of time, you know. It wasn't like he, he went off and then the game started. There was a long time. Even when Bissaka was on the pitch chilling for a little bit, he had a chance to actually think about what I could do, what he should do. And like, I just, that's another problem. Oh, he, he had, had time. He, he went, he went, he had second away. half to change the game too. He couldn't do squat. He went to the dressing room. He had time between there and second half, uh, to the mm. time they went to second half to try to say, okay, now we go a man down. How do we maintain this lead? And then he chose to go and park the bus. So that was his fault. Tactically, he always does this. As I said, 
when he just gets tight like that, he doesn't know. The only way he can change the game is by changing players. But he doesn't know how to change shape or how to do anything to influence games at all. He always have to... Like, look at Saddam when we were losing 2-0. What did he do? He changed... He brought Cavani on and that won us a game. He didn't change the shape it or he didn't stuff. change nothing. It it's stuff, always... But it's not effective. He does stuff, but it's not effective. He, change, he changes stuff and hopes. He doesn't really have that confidence that this, what I did is going to get the result. Like today, he obviously was forced to make tactical changes because he went a man down. Fam, what I'm trying to say is, if it was Klopp, if it was Pep, if it was, um, what do you call it? Klopp, Pep, who's the other one? Who's the too other sure. manager? I'm too sure. We wouldn't even know that they're a man down. They would have went on to bang in the two extra goals. We wouldn't True. know. They, 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 they know. still would have been, their presence would have been any, the tactics didn't make any sense anyway. Uh, the tactic was so stupid, right? Because he played three at the back, then he played, Shaw sure and and um and Dello. um Del Dello as effective wing backs that did not get forward. Yeah, right. Where? Then he played Pogba and Fred and Bruno and Fingy. So it's Ronaldo. almost he's yeah. almost set up here to shut up shop here. But he knows Ronaldo's not gonna track back. Come on, we're not right. gonna be tracking then, back defensively. Bruno cannot run, Pogba cannot run. So, run, so there was we're not no gonna get any balls up the too. pitch. It, it, okay. it, the way he done here literally made no sense. It made no he, sense. He relied on the fullbacks, but the fullbacks weren't doing it. Instead, the, we were getting peppered and the fullbacks were tucking in. You had Luke Shaw tucking in and everyone, no one was getting forward to support Ronaldo. It was dead. It was dead. It was that dead was, food. That, that, that goal, the first goal was Shaw's fault though. If you're playing three at the back, there's no way you should tuck in that far as a, as a wing back. He was literally tucked in with the defenders. So by the time the ball went out, he tried, you know what I mean? He gave that guy too much time. And that's the guy that was causing trouble on the left. So I'm just like, it just it just didn't even make sense. Then after that goal, then he wants to go wide. It just doesn't make sense. Look, was Ronaldo's foul a penny? No. I didn't no, really it wasn't. It. it was too soft, Bob, man. It was too he should have he should have got a shot though. He should have got a shot. I don't know he why the hell he, he went down. Should have shot. Shoot. Shoot. But especially when goalkeepers are laying you uh, in free goals, bro. All his goals, <laughs> goalkeepers are laying in free goals, bro. Just shoot, bro. Don't lay it in, bro. They will lay in, bro. They must have oh. let you give, give you free goal, but man, just shoot and they, they, they will lay in, bro. Bro, this is a mess, bro. I, I, we're moving like some laughing stock of this thing, fam. My actors are dead. You get me? All of these things, man, they're <laughs> dead, fam. Like, it is long. Listen, listen. It's, it's, it's not the end of the world. Let's, let's like... No, no, it's still early. We need to... We need to re listen, I, I'm not going to lie. I can't... Uh, <laughs> they they need to... They need, my, my biggest thing, they need to learn from this, man. They need to wake up and just realise that they... They need to. They need to do better, man. They can't. This can't happen. This can't happen, man. I'm hoping Bro, with, with me, all the with me, yeah. This. I, 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 I always, I always saw us losing one of the Champions League game away from home. I always saw us there. I was thinking maybe either Villarreal or Atlanta. One of them was going to beat us away from home. The way we play, you just know one of them is going to. be... I didn't expect young boys to do it. So now our next two games, that is our Old Trafford. Villarreal is going to be a very tricky game, boring game. It's going to be just like the final. But maybe this time we go Ronaldo, so maybe, maybe we would probably just get out one or two goals. Atlanta at home too. I expect us to also beat them too. And then maybe we'll go to Italy too. Hopefully, hopefully we just win our next three games. I'm hoping we win. But something tell me we might get seven points from the next three games. Look, bro, uh, you, heard it, you, you, got, heard it. No choice. you heard it from us, man. We gave our opinions. Guys, we're going to wrap it up because we've got this game to watch. You get me? Bayern, Barca, whatever. And I don't even know what the score is. But guys, thanks for joining once again. Guys, if you want to see more of this, remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow at OT99 underscore banter room for Instagram, at, o in, at 99 banter Twitter, and at OT, and OT99 banter room flipping TikTok, all of that stuff. Follow, like, subscribe, all of that malarkey. Peace. Thank we you, are, Rob, man. Yes.